Hi guys, I'm Mark and welcome back to MavTech. Now, I'm making a video at the moment that I didn't think I'd be making. The iPhone 14 Pro is a phone I didn't think I was going to pick up. I normally go with Max models and you can see here I've got the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max. Then let me just talk you through why I went for 14 Pro. One, the Pro Maxes are a nightmare to get hold of at the moment. They're almost impossible to find anywhere and they're selling out so quick. So I've been checking every day online and this popped up in my local Apple store so I just thought go for the 14 Pro as I'm going away on a trip soon and I wanted one of these because of the improved camera sensors on them. So I picked up a Pro instead of a Pro Max. And as well, it's a bit of a change. I've had three iterations now of the Pro Maxes. I've, got, I've had the 11 Pro Max, the 12 Pro Max, and the 13 Pro Max. So let's change it up a bit and see if I enjoy using these smaller phones and if there's a major difference. Obviously battery life can be slightly different, but again, that's for the review, not for now. I'm also gonna be pairing this with a gimbal. So I wanted it smaller because it will balance easier it will give you more stabilized footage and smoother footage much easier. And last but not least, it's something different. A smaller phone, does it make a difference? We'll see. Again, beautiful box from Apple, very well designed bit smaller than what I'm used to, but hey, it's pro time, not pro max time. Let's do it very simply. One tag off. Second tag off. And there you have it. I did go for the deep purple. I was torn between this and the space black. The space black did look very nice, but I thought Again, I've had the kind of options. I'm not into bright, bright colors. The blue was nice for me, but as this is a darker shade, and a lot of people have said already, it, it dims down in, in unharsh light. So I thought I'd go for that. Why not give the deep, deep purple a try? And it does look really nice. I was contemplating, like I said, this in the space black, but I went for this in the end. Let's quickly put that to one side. This takes hardly any time at all now. Bit of paperwork inside the box. Your Apple sticker is still in there and your USB-C to lightning port charging. Pretty standard. And the phone, the best part. There you go. Now just put in these next to one another straight away. It's not as noticeable as it was from the 13 Pro Max to the 12 Pro Max, the lens increase, but yeah, they, they're definitely bigger. And the cutouts, definitely bigger. And the phone's obviously smaller, as this is a Pro model, not a Pro Max model. But yeah, I'm, I'm, the, the weight, the weight is the first thing that's hit me, going from the Max models to this. It feels really light, really, really light. But again, like I said, I haven't used one of these for a long time, it's been three years now, I've been using Max models. So we're gonna see what this is. We'll get it all booted up. I'll be right back once the phone's all started up. So with the iPhone 14 Pro unboxed and fully set up now, the first thing I'm really noticing is the weight difference. Um, like I said earlier, I am used to the Max models, but this is um, much, much lighter. It's almost like I'm, I'm not holding a phone and so it feels a lot lighter. So I'm gonna be interested to see how I cope with that over time. It's, it's quite nice and the, the one-handed reachability and use is obvious straight away coming from the Max models. Am I going to miss the screen size? Uh, obviously the Max models are great for watching content and that, but I, I've got an iPad Pro, uh, the 12.9 inch, so I watch most of my YouTube videos, I watch most of my films and content on the iPad. These are now used for like, only if I'm out and about watching videos and Instagram, your TikToks, your, your, your regular daily stuff you're doing, checking your email. So will I notice that massive difference on the, with the size and the screens? I'll, I'll let you know, like I said, this isn't a review, it's just very few first impressions. But the color I, I do really like. Um, it's, not as, it's not as vibrant as the, as the Sierra Blue was, but um, the deep purple's nice. It does come in four colors now. So you've got the deep purple, which I went for. You've got a 
um, space black, which is replaced the graphite models now, which is it's a dark, it's dark around the edges, which again was really nice. I almost got that, but decided to go for the deep purple. And then you've got your standard, your gold color, and your silver color options. Um, I did go for the 256 megabyte, as I need that storage. I think that the base, the base storage is a bit too low now. I don't normally need to go up any higher than the 256, as I have the upgraded iCloud storage to two terabytes, so that covers me fine. And I do split a lot of my stuff between my devices anyway. So, rambling on a bit here, but um, yeah, the, the sensors I've had, I've been having a quick look at, the new new improved 48 megapixel over the 12 megapixel what we've got on the older models of iPhones we're used to, so that's gonna come in really handy for my Iceland trip I'll be going away on soon, so I really wanna put that to the test. Um, you're gonna get 4K resolution in Pro Raw, and it's a 65% larger sensor than what's on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So, like I said earlier, the cameras are the main feature. I've wanted to pick one of these models up. Um, the always on display, I, I keep trying to turn the phone off, it's already off, so I'm already finding that a bit, a bit annoying. I'm not sure that's gonna stick around long. And with battery drainage, obviously coming from the Max models once again to the Pro, there's going to be a difference in the battery, so I might be turning the always always on display off. Um, I don't think it's something I need, and I don't think my pocket needs to be checking my phone out all the time when it's not being used. The Dynamic Island, let me spend a bit of time with it. I honestly thought it was a bit gimmicky when Apple were doing it. Obviously, it's a great implementation of a notch and what can be done with it through software over just having a peel hole cut out or something. I mean, making it animating that is obviously very, very Apple. But um, again, it's something that's going to be gimmicky. Um, from what I've heard people saying already, it's not utilised in many apps at the moment and it's got very limited functionality but i can see apple expanded on that in the future and even for future generations um, the iphone 15 16 this could be a real feature that gets really like upgraded and upgraded and, and more apps come to use the dynamic island over time um so yeah if you found this interesting uh, if you've enjoyed the unboxing even though there's very little to unbox anymore but we, we, we've been used to that for a while now it's the phones we're interested in I am going to be putting out a review after using this for a while, but like I said, this is mainly going to be a phone for um, photography and cinematic footage. So this is this is what I've picked this up for. Would I recommend upgrading, or would I have upgraded if it wasn't for the camera improvements? Honestly, no. Like I said, these are so good now. The 13 Pro Max is still in my pocket. It's still going to be my daily driver. Um, but these these are it's getting harder and harder to improve these phones. I mean, what more can you do with them? And again, we're in the third year cycle now of the flat edges. We've got the flat bezel, uh, flat edge phones. So we've gone from the 12, the iPhone 12s, the iPhone 13s, and the iPhone 14s, the Pros have all got these nice flat edges um, in the stainless steel and their different color options. So I'm guessing next year, the iPhone 15, we should be seeing a upcycle and an upgrade completely, a new look, a new model coming out for the iPhone 15s. But hey, we're on the iPhone 14 Pro. Let's enjoy this. And don't forget to come and check me over on Instagram on Mavtech. I'll throw it up here somewhere. Follow me along there. We've got a great community going on over there. A lot of, a lot of interesting people. Um, and again, that's another reason I picked this up. I've had so many questions about this phone that I couldn't answer because I haven't had hands-on experience with it. But it's in the hand. We just need the experience now. So please like and subscribe here. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram on Mavtech. Um, I do like doing these videos and obviously as long as you're liking the videos and you're watching i'm going to keep making them so once again i'm mark thanks for watching mavtech i've got the iphone 14 pro let's see what it can do see you soon guys bye